official Gaul reports that the Cosmodan refineries are well maintained and fulfilling their quotas. The Horde will now have more than enough oil to mount a fierce campaign in the lands far to the north. Only the troublesome human defenders of Stromgard remain to be dealt with before sending the Horde on its next sojourn. The human fleet has captured a group of our transports just south of Stromgard. Recapture these vessels and then lay waste to their capital. Okay, so here we have our little squad. First of all, I have to use my ships. To shoot these down. And maybe... I can reach some of the enemies there but at least when I move there I might nice okay uh I should use these transports to bring my units, although I don't know, all of them can come with me. And what I have to do now is that come here to this little island and Get my base here. Okay, great. So, we have a gold mine here. We have a little wall uh, that could be destroyed, although... Uh, because if you would destroy it, then it would be easier to get the gold. That's for sure. And I cannot really build anything else, so I will just cut the wood. Uh, it would be easier, that's for sure, but I think it's a little... It, it, it looks great, if the gold mine has a little wall around it. Mm, it doesn't have a lot of gold in it, though, so I have to be very cautious. And, as in the last, oh, we have one health. As in the last uh, mission, as Chogal, we have our new unit, the Ogre. The Ogre has 4 armor, 2 to uh, 12 damage, 1 range, 4 sight and 13 speed. And an actual funny thing, uh, as you can see it has 2 heads, I mean, yeah. And when I was first playing this game, I genuinely didn't see that that is another head, but instead I thought that it is the ogre's hand but is in a weird position of doing this <laughs> sign or something but it is a head and i didn't understand why they talk uh, uh, like that when uh, you train them but i will show you and also as with the raiders in the original game, the ogres completely uh, remove 
the need of the grants technically simply because everything what the grant can do the ogre can do better so that is why it is advised to train ogres uh, after a while but grants won't be bad it's just the ogre can do more damage has more health and a bit faster okay uh, also what I have to do is I built a lot of farms mm, what you can do in this thing in this uh, like position is that you can kill your own units so for example I could kill this one head ogre or like the low head uh, grants so that I get the you know I get enough place for my farms and if you would do a speed run or something that would be the way but since it is not necessary and I can just build more farms I don't want to kill my own units even though if an attack comes this ogre will die insta instantly. And it would be time, uh, I mean not just now, but soon it would be time to build a shipyard as well because it seems that these uh, destroyers are coming and I need more lumber uh, whenever I was building the great hall I put my uh, peons to cut some trees so I can instantly take it and it wasn't enough steel so okay oh I should Okay, never mind. I missed the spot, but maybe it is for the best. Because now it won't get crowded. But they will cut these trees out anyway, so... It's not like it makes a difference. Okay, finally we have enough food to train some new peons. Uh, so as I said, what I do need is a lumber mill for the extra lumber. Also a shipyard for the attacks. There will come a ground attack as well. But it's easier to defend against that since I, I can just build a barrack but with the ships I will need more than a barrack we have an oil pitch here what only has like 10 a little bit more than 10k oil so that's nothing so that's bad so I need another Ah, uh, I hope they won't get stuck that much. Yes, yeah, so for example, that could be a reason why you would destroy the wall. Okay, uh, lumber mill. Mm, ah. Place it here. Uh, 
because I do need the extra wood, but it's almost out here, and I want to place my farms here instead of my lumber mill. Uh, also, I plan to upgrade soon because I think I need to look around the map for the new gold mines because this island is not as big so it's not just I need another gold mine but I need basically space for my buildings okay and I can build a shipyard now so let's build it here as soon as possible wait no I want to build it here I'm not so sure that they will attack with like three ships that they did before, but it's better to be safe. I want to place some towers here. Like this. Okay. An oil platform? We need more gold for that and... And we also need more lumber still. And I need now the barrack because I need the great hull upgrade. It's just I so I'm so low on resources because I had to build so many farms and other things and I bought another beyond. the extra oil as well also what I have to do uh, and what I want to do after I got some extra oil is that I look around for another oil patch because this is nothing this is this will run out very fast I think I will wait for the stronghold upgrade and then I build a Goblin Alchemist because I want to... Great. I want to explore and scout for a new gold mine. I can send my ships here but that one enemy can shoot three of them.
I love how he doesn't even check which ship I have on one health. Place a tower here. Although it wouldn't make that much of a difference to be honest, because they will just uh, attack in waves. Okay, and we have another building, the Ogre Mound, for 1000 gold and 300 lumber. This is basically exactly uh, how the canoe worked. So you need a Ogre Mound to train ogres, and also you need the blacksmiths as well. So exactly like how the raiders worked. Uh, which means that I will build these buildings. I just want more uh, space here. Uh, I will build the blacksmiths. And as you can see, after the stronghold, uh, we unlocked uh, Troll Berserker training for 1500 gold. That's the stronghold upgrade. Uh, I will show you how it works. Uh, what I used to do is first I uh, upgraded the throwing axis, then the berserker. But it's it's not necessary. I just think I just think that is how I should do it. Um, and the berserker only comes uh, after you have the stronghold upgrade. Okay, yeah, we have another one. And what I didn't do, and what I should do, is uh, build an oil refinery. Here. And now I should make another Zeppelin. Maybe it's too much, but at least I'll go around the map faster. This is the enemy's base. So this is what we have to attack. Ah! It seems that they don't... <laughs> that much gold either thankfully and if I'm here I might build the foundry Oh, and we have the... Oh my god. 10,000 gold? That's all? Yeah. So this is what we have to deal with. So what I will do is I will uh, upgrade my ships. And I think I will uh, 
shoot down these other ships here because it seems that I'm low on gold so I will need to do that. Also, to be honest, I mentioned the ogres, but I'm not so sure whether or not I should create them just yet. Ah, I, I will, I will just just to show you. But they are expensive now, since we don't have enough gold in the map. Okay. We don't have to build transports, thankfully, because we have these two. So the upgrades are enough. Uh, okay, let's let's build a berserker. And we also already have these uh, extra upgrade, like the again plus two for one thousand five hundred gold and three hundred lumber. Uh, we have this for the shields as well, and I think for the catapults as well. Okay, we can train ogres. But I have to be careful with those. And I have to get another oil platform. And I think one more ship would help. I have to go around the map to hunt down these enemy ships and also I think I will destroy these it wouldn't hurt Okay, so we mm, researched really. So many enemy units. Okay, so we researched Berserker, but I need more ships to combat these. We researched Berserker. It goes like this. Uh, if you research Troll Berserker, the picture changes and it gets a level and uh, we got 10 more health so it's gonna be 50 but that's all and what berserker does is that it allows us to get three more upgrades which i might not get just yet uh simply because i want to be careful how on how much gold I spend. Uh, so 
So that is why I will get the other things first and then think about it. And yeah, we have upgrade shields for 900 gold and 500 number. Now the Berserker upgrades are Berserker Scouting, Sight 9. I don't know uh, why it is different, to be honest. Because uh, on the other upgrades it says plus 2 plus something and here it just simply changes the side to 9 but it's okay. I want to... Oh, oh, oh no no. Oh my god! <laughs> I could not destroy that transport in time. Okay, so it changes the side to 9, which is very good. Research lighter axis range plus 1, this is also very good. And uh, that is for also this is for 100 and I mean 1,500 and that is for 2,000. And we have for 3,000 berserker regeneration, which means that the troll uh, is automatically regenerates, but really slowly. So it's it's like it's not as uh, fast as that it is that good but it's a nice extra nonetheless and if we get rid of the shipyard I will be good because then they will not be able to build ships and if I get rid of these, then it would be even better. Okay, still I want to look around the map again. Because I don't want the ships to attack me. But with this, uh, we got rid of the attacks. Because the only thing what he can do now is send that single transport what is here which is not going to happen now okay I might I might do this and I also get that other gold mine since it seems that we are almost out Sadly, I cannot reach this, so I might create another catapult for that guard tower to be destroyed. Because that would be important if I want to spend my peons there. Yes, so we have this upgrade catapult plus 15 for 4000 gold. That is very good, but I'm not going to do that now because uh, it takes too much gold otherwise it's pretty good let's get rid of those two those two
Now I start with uh, looking around for the ships for two reasons. One, I don't want to go around the map after I destroy the base. And second, I want to send my transports over. Without having to worry about enemy ships destroying them. And since I got rid of the shipyards and all the ships, this could be it. And no one can stop me. Right? It's incredible how little resources they give us in this map, like with these low amount of oil and gold. Great! Let's build a town hall here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now I think it would be time to upgrade the ogre weapons and yes the melee like the you know the armor and damage bonuses do go for both the grants and the ogres that's exactly how it was in the first game so let's increase that and yeah see see so when i create one uh, that is what I said, so when you train one, they thought twice, and I didn't know why, <laughs> but now I do. Okay, so I was very cautious with the gold, but I think I will have enough for a big attack. And we are out. And if I'm not mistaken, we destroyed all the ships. But I am going to go through with the Zeppelin through the whole map and with my ships. Because they used to to sail around And I might build another barrack because it takes a lot of time. Oh! It takes a lot of time to train those ogres. Yeah, it seems that it's empty. So it has to be.
Okay, so then let's get the people here. So I send them some ship escort. More farms? I need more farms. Here you go. And that's not a good idea, it seems. Okay, I need one more pack of ogres and I think that will be enough. And I could send these units as well. Yeah, I will. Let's finish this mission.